hello, hello. This is Blue Star Warrior One here. All the glory goes to Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. And Lord Jesus Christ is coming. And while I'm still here, I will continue to try to uh, lead people to Lord Jesus Christ. And today I'm reading the first book of Adam and Eve, chapter 2. Hopefully this will help you understand something. Ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit and bless and, and so you can and ask him also to send the Holy Spirit to bless you with guidance and wisdom and understanding for what you will be about to hear. And maybe this will encourage you to be interested in reading this book or take up reading the Bible and learning about Lord Jesus Christ himself. All right. Adam and Eve faint when they leave the garden. God sends his word to encourage them. Because they've just been expelled from the garden. Because, you know, they partake in that forbidden fruit. The, of the knowledge of good and evil. But when our father Adam and Eve went out of the garden, they walked the ground on their feet, not knowing they were walking. And when, the, when they came to the opening of the gate of the garden and saw the broad earth spread before them, covered with stones large and small, and with sand they feared and trembled, and fell on their faces from the fear that came over them, and they were as dead. Could you imagine going from living in the lush Garden of Eden to going to seeing this this horrendous place of stones and sand? They probably were horrified. <laughs> I mean, they were horrified. They fell, they fell over and, and collapsed. Because whereas until this time they had been in the garden, land, garden land, beautiful, planted with all manner of trees, they now saw themselves in a strange land, which they knew not, and had never seen. And because th when they were in the garden, they were filled with the grace of a bright nature, and they had not hearts turned towards earthly things. Therefore God had pity on them, and when he saw them fallen before the gate of the garden, he sent his word to our father Adam and Eve, and raised them from their fallen state. Amen. And when you when you get raptured, you'll be blessed with the glor with the glorified body, which is the bright nature, the bright which is what he's saying here, the bright nature, the glorified body that Adam and Eve originally had in the in Eden, which they lost when they took partake in the fruit of uh, the forbidden fruit of fruit from the tree of, of wisdom of of knowledge of good and evil. I will leave it at that. Uh, I ask you also, if if you have if you do not know Lord Jesus Christ, to to know that He died on the cross for your sins, He rose on the pre on the third day, He died on that cross for your sins. He shed His precious blood for you. He went through all the torment beyond our comprehension on that cross for us. And He loves you. He's knocking at your door. He wants you to come to Him. All you have to do is, is lift your hand up in the air. He doesn't have to be high. You could be on a septa bus for all I know. And just say, I declare that Lord Jesus Christ is my Savior. And ask for a filling of the Holy Spirit. And, from, and then after that, try to get your hands on a Bible. Try to learn about Lord Jesus Christ. And try to walk on that narrow path. So... This is for anyone who has not taken the mark of the beast. I will be back as the Lord leads.